we have Mike Rissi, and he's going to speak about package testing with Mocha. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about Meteor package testing with Mocha. Uh, for those of you that have done package testing so far, you've probably done it with TinyTest. Uh, but before I get into things, I want to point out that all of the really nice looking reporter stuff that you're going to see is not my work, but uh, that of Phil Cockfield's uh, Respondly. Um, so TinyTest. Um, TinyTest is a pretty good way to test your packages. It's uh, solid, uh, built here by MDG, so it's up to their usual high quality of code. Um, it's a little bit weird, though. Um, you have to use these constructs like async multi, which I found a little bit confusing, and they're not super well documented. And there's testing frameworks that I've already used a lot and am fairly comfortable with, like Mocha. Uh, Mocha is one of the two dominant testing frameworks uh, for JavaScript. It's been around for about five years. And what I'm going to show you now is that you're able to use Mocha to test packages. Oh boy. Yeah. I think that's that'll do. So I made a special leaderboard here, which is uh, designed to just show off how to test these packages. Um, for those of you that have used TinyTest before, the test packages command should be familiar. But what you might not be so familiar with is this uh, driver package flag here. And that basically lets you use a different package uh, for doing your reporting. So let's uh, run this and see what it looks like. And the sample string reverser is the package that I'm testing in this case. So this is the new reporter. Um, I'll let you be the judge, but I think it's one of the nicest looking reporters to date. Um, and you can go b between the past test, the failed test, if you it's possible to skip tests in Mocha, so you can look at any tests that you may have skipped there. Um, so let's go make a test fail and watch how that happens. So I'm just going to expect 2 to equal 3 and save that. And now we have one failure here. And we can go and look at the stack trace here. We can go look at our passing tests if we want to feel a little bit better. Or we can go back here and change it and fix it again, and it's going to turn blue. So you have to get used to the pink-blue testing, which might be weird if you're coming from the red-green world. But uh, most people have been able to handle it pretty well so far. Um, and then as far as like what it actually looks like, uh, it's pretty simple. Instead of using TinyTest up here, you just uh, point to this Mocha package here. Uh, I also included Chai here, which is an assertion library. And then you just add your tests. Um, and what's nice about this approach is it uh, uses a lot of the stuff that's built by Meteor. So a lot of the stuff that's given us trouble with velocity is around managing multiple copies of the app. And taking this approach basically uh, lets us ignore that problem and use a solution that Meteor has already uh, come up with. And I think that's basically it. Um, if you want to find out more about it, uh, go to blog.respondly. Uh, and I sort of go over like the steps for getting started. Eventually, that's going to be uh, probably brought into the normal velocity and Mocha documentation. But for now, uh, that article there is your best bet. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, or just like post a question on the testing category of the media forums. Uh, yeah, thanks. We have questions for Mike. There we go. Uh, yeah. No, no you. <laughs> so, just so I understand, so this doesn't use the whole velocity framework? This is alternative? Um, so the question was, is this using the velocity framework? Um, it's using part of the velocity framework. So it's still putting the tests into the Mongo collections the same way that velocity does. Uh, and it hasn't been tested yet, but in theory, you should be able to use this reporter 
uh, with like an existing velocity framework, or if you want to use the existing HTML reporter, you should be able to plug that in. That's theoretical, though. I haven't tested that, so I'd probably. So what's the benefit of velocity? I mean, well, have, you know, so. so velocity solves a different problem. Um, this is primarily for package testing. Um, and velocity is still like pretty much the only way to test the code that's in your root app. Yeah. You had a question, too? I had the same question. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, do we have uh, any other questions? What's the distinction between testing the root app and testing the package? It seems like it should, should be the same problem. Kind of. what's, what's the distinction? Um, so the question is, what's the distinction between testing the root app and testing uh, packages? Um, I mean, I, I find it really useful to be able to test the root app just because I don't want to have to move my app into packages. Um, but you might be getting at, like, why is it a different problem even? Um, basically, Meteor provides facilities for testing packages and not for testing uh, the root app. Um, and yeah, it would take more than five or 10 seconds to really get into uh, why those are two different problems. It's probably worth a blog post at some point. And uh, I think we had a question over here. Any other questions for Mike? All right, thank you. Thanks.